I recently took this Bronco on a 2,500 mile road trip with my wife and our one-year-old daughter. And the baby did really good. Our daughter did really well too. Overall, it was a great trip. We made it through some sketchy weather. Uh, going through Oklahoma, it was pretty nuts. But on that trip, even though it was great overall, we did find a few annoyances with the Bronco. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what those annoyances are and how to fix them for pretty cheap. So stay tuned. So our first annoyance on this road trip was the fact that the four-door Bronco has no rear cup holders. Um, and that was kind of a shocker to us because if I've, as I've looked around, even the two-door Bronco has cup holders in the rear over the wheel arches. So that is gonna be our fix for today. And yes, you could stuff items or beverages in the netting here on the back doors. Um, my wife did try that. We had little success there. If the beverage is open and is not capped, you open the door and slam the door and you forget that it's in there, it splashes everywhere and kind of makes a mess. Ask me how I know about that one. But our fix for this today is going to be this product here from IAG Performance. Now, I talked to the guys over there and they actually started in Subaru parts. Um, but they branched out into the Bronco world with just really practical items and everything today is going to be from them So let's take a look at this product here One of the features I like about the rear cup holder is the magnetic mounting tray So once you get it installed, there's a metal bracket that the cup holder um, section actually magnetizes to So if you have a spill or need to remove it for any reason, you can just pop it off clean it, pop it back on. And I'm hoping that it installs pretty easily, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. All right, install notes. Super easy to install. All you have to do is pop the rear console cover off. Um, that's what houses your window switches for the back seat, as well as the power and the USB. And if it's cold, I did break one of my clips. It's about 40 degrees out here. Um, no garage, so I'm doing it in an open parking garage, so it is a little bit chilly. Um, you may be careful with those clips. I went ahead, I'm gonna, I'm gonna order some online. They'll be like a dollar um, and just replace those, the one clip that I broke. Other note, all my tools are in storage because we recently moved. The only thing I have is a little DeWalt kit um, that you can see right there. And I don't have any Torx bits. So it's a T25. I found a, I wouldn't recommend it, but I found an Allen that was close enough. Um, if it's loose at all, don't use it. It will strip the Torx out. But in a pinch, it's just into plastic. It's not into metal or anything like that, the Torx screw. Um, so I was able to loosen it just fine with an Allen. I would recommend, I think it's probably a T25 Torx for that. Now, some bad news, let me show you. I went back and looked at the footage because you see one tab here and another tab here. On the mounting bracket that I'll show you in a sec, there are corresponding female holes. Um, and it magnetizes with this magnet here in the middle, magnetizes onto the metal mounting bracket and these two lock it in place. Now, went back and looked at the footage. This one was broken out of the box. So I did reach out to IAG, um, and this is not a sponsored video, I paid for these products. Um, so they are gonna send a new tray out. And I will show you though, just how it should mount. So. There's that metal mounting bracket that you could see. And I have the left side tab intact. There's the hole that it recesses into. Roll there. And uh, 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 left side pops right in. Good. Magnetizes fine. And then because the right side one is not there, it kind of drifts around. Um, I do think that it's a, pretty good idea decent design um, I'll have to do an update and let you know how it goes once I get the other other part of it or uh, once I get the new um, the new tray insert the only thing that's a little bit iffy is pulling the uh, floor liner out is gonna be maybe a bit of a challenge but it does remove super easily so overall I think it'll be good um, we'll see what happens when the new one comes in easy install definitely worth a try Verify that it is not broken before you do the install and make sure it's in, in one piece. It looked like just it was maybe like a casting issue or something like that. So let's move on to product number two. All right, so annoyance number two has to do with the center console here. And it's probably one of the dumbest things to complain about and it's a super simple fix. Um, but from the factory, all it comes with is this tray here. 
It's basically, you could put some sunglasses in there, but everything's gonna rattle around. Same with uh, the tray for the actual console. It's just a big open box. Now, the same company, IAG, makes this two-piece system, and you can actually, you set this guy here in the bottom, um, and this, this one just kind of locks into the top. Now with that, there is a spot for coins, spot to put cell phones, there's just some more dividers here. Um, it comes with these rubber liners, top and bottom. Don't know that I'll use the rubber liners, but worth a shot, nice little touch. So let's go ahead and throw these in real quick. All right, so the first one, it's probably about, uh, I'd call that four inches, that's what she said. This guy's gonna sit there, that's the uh, first one and you still have access to your 12 volt outlet. Um, and then number two just rests right on top of it. I'll give you a look at what those liners look like in there. Again, it's a little cold, so my liners are creased a little bit, but once it warms up, I think they'll fit right in. You could probably put some glue on there if you wanted to, but I like the idea of removing them um, if needed. So yeah, that feels good little three-tier system at that point. Pulls out easily, kind of get to what you got to get to and still have different storage in there. So. so the console inserts do seem pretty useful and e super easy to install. These are also super, super inexpensive. So I'll give those a shot. Um, feels like a decent product if you want to grab it. Again, everything's going to be linked in the description. Now for our third annoyance, this is going to be my favorite one, hopefully. Um, let, me, let me show you. Okay, so in one of my recent videos, well, I only have three so far, this is number four, so I think in number two, uh, I talked about how annoying it was to get into the rear hatch of the Bronco if you had a soft top. Um, there's two tabs that you gotta click and the little prop rod deal, and if you have anything in your hands, you really can't get into it all. So, hopefully this product actually fixes it. Um, this is the soft top assist system from IAG. And for install on all of these parts, guys, there are actually QR codes um, on the boxes and they have a YouTube channel. Um, so there's QR code there you could scan and it'll take you to their YouTube channel video on installs. I'm not doing like full on how to installs um, here because those already exist, super easy. So I'll just give you my thoughts on the installation of this product and how it works. So I'll let you know how the install goes. Let's take a look. All right, guys, rear lift assist is installed and it was super easy, super straightforward, really no install notes on it. Um, just watch the video that IAG made. I referenced it a couple times during install and with the time to stop and watch the video and time to talk to the neighbor that stopped by, um, it was, still took me about 15 minutes. So really, really easy, really straightforward. Best part is this right here. Pop side one, one-handed. Pop side two, one-handed. Ah, and the top comes up. So that's really super nice and you can even close it one hand and it latches. So huge improvement there, really straightforward install. Um, that product looks pretty good and pretty solid, all metal brackets and all that stuff. So that was three products that are relatively cheap, easy and practical for your Bronco. Those are gonna be waiting for you down in the description. The other thing that's waiting for you is the link to this video right here and that subscribe button. So make sure you watch that video. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. We're gonna do a big lighted upgrade on this Bronco. See you guys.